as we say in Africa, we do not really mean. We do not really mean that what we are about to say is true. A story, a story. Let it come, let it go. In the beginning, there are no stories on earth to hear. All the god and people of the land mourned. Naomi, the sky god, owned all the stories and kept them locked away in his palace thousands of miles into the air. cannot stand it, sir. It must be stopped. Only today I stole Tiger's whiskers, but not only did nobody laugh, he almost killed me. I must get the stories to bring happiness back to the people. So Crafty and Nazi wove a spider silk robe that would be long enough to reach the palace of the sky god himself. Turn. 
because I was so nervous of the great storm. Storm? What storm? Oh, it's probably nothing. I was just talking with the sky god, and he said he's going to start chucking lightning bolts right about now. The guy's got quite a temper, hasn't he? Say, isn't your nest on the other side of the woods? Yes! I hate rain. I must, I must find shelter. Here, you can use this calabash. I'll set it right here for you. I don't know what I'm into you. But thanks, Spider. And now I've got you, you foolish hornet. With one test done, Anansi set off to capture Mimosha, the fairy who no man sees. But clever Anansi had a plan. Okay, little gum baby. You're about to meet Mimosha. Anansi hid behind that tree for two hours. By the third hour, when Anansi was going to leave to find food, Mimosha came. Hello, little one. I see you're not eating the news. May I have one? Thank you, child. I see you are, are too in awe of my presence to speak, but you may thank me for the honor of sharing your news. Well, now speak, child. Well, you are incredibly rude, do you know that? Osebo, the leopard whose teeth is like spears, and Osini, the python who can swallow a man whole. So Anansi traveled to the most dangerous part of the forest where few dared to go. Oh, woe is me! I've eaten far too much food, and I'm so stuffed I can barely move! Not you again. I got you now, Anansi. 
look at my whiskers, or should I say, what used to be of my whiskers. Yep, can't really say I see them at all. Nope, totally gone. Ha ha, joke only one, Nancy. My face will be the last one you will see. Hear that? No. That's the sound of my whiskers. They're calling for vengeance. I will tear you to shreds. I will. I never did like cats. Talk about good timing. You've done, I see you've done the impossible, Nancy. A sauce will be furious, of course. Eh, she'll get over it. Now, the stories. Oh, you've earned it, Nancy. Can't stick up for you, Nancy. Stories spread to the corners of the world, including this one. Without Anansi's gift, I couldn't have told you this story. As we say in Africa, this is my story which I have related. If it be sweet, or if it not be sweet, take some elsewhere and let some come back to me.